possibility. And Baby's house, Baby's house, everybody is family. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Baby's house. I'm your host, Baby Mason. And thank you so very much for joining me today. I hope and pray that you are enjoying this beautiful day in the Lord and all the blessings that he has bestowed upon you, whatever is going on in your world. I hope and pray that uh, you know that uh, God is working it all out together for good. And I'm just happy to be a part of your day. Well, I want to tell you a little bit about Babby Mason Radio. You know, our ministry has evolved over the decades. I've been in ministry now almost 40 years. It's amazing to say that. And I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, but God keeps adding uh, just wonderful ministry to my plate. And about six years ago, we launched another part of our ministry called Babby Mason Radio. It's an internet radio station that's on the internet. Just type babbymasonradio.com into your browser. The radio station will come up. You click the listen live button and that launches the radio station where you can hear beautiful music, uh, Christian music, gospel music, and great Bible study programs around the clock, 24 hours a day. And a part of what we do is we welcome the, the music and we play the music of independent artists on our radio station. And you know that I mentor, teach, train, coach singers, songwriters, and authors, and we feature their works right here on the radio station at babbymasonradio.com. And Babby Mason Radio has recently launched a beautiful music project called Shout. And it features the great music of independent artists, a select group of independent artists whose music is featured on the station. And one of those artists is a fine singer and songwriter. His name is Josh Farr. And Josh is a singer, songwriter, but more than that, he is a man whose heart is deeply dedicated to the things of God. You know, he works a day job, so he gets to shine his light uh, in, in a school where he can impact young people and help shape them and mold them. So I want to welcome to Babby's house my good friend Josh Farr, whose music is a part of this brand new project called Shout. I'll tell you how you can get it after we have a little conversation. But let me welcome Josh Farr to Babby's house. My friend, it's good to see you today. It's good to see you. Thank you for having me today. Absolutely. And, And Thank you for being a part of this project called Shout. I just want to jump into our conversation and talk about the song that's featured on the project. The song is called Most of Me. And there is a, knowing you, you go right right to the word for your inspiration. So tell us about that. Well, um, a lot of the inspiration from this song came from Jeremiah 18, where um, Jeremiah hears word from the Lord and he says, hey, go down to the potter's house and there I'm going to talk to you. And um, so a lot of times I like to insert myself in the scripture. So then I went down to the potter's house and I I think about how God must have been speaking to Jeremiah. He must be speaking to me. And that works throughout all of scripture. And um, and one of the things that it says, it it says that he went down to the potter's house and there was the potter making something at the wheel. And as the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter, he made it again into another vessel that seemed good to the potter to make. And the thing that stuck out to me is that God is constantly molding us. He's constantly making us into what he wants us to be. The New Testament supports this when he says that those who believe are a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. And so um, as we go throughout our lives and as we experience things that mar us in the potter's hand, not by the potter's hand, but in the potter's hand, that we are marred from time to time, and he will remold us into something that's a new creation. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful thought. And we're going to hear your song called Most of Me in just a moment. I referred to a moment ago, Josh, that you have the opportunity to help, you know, as Christ is shaping you, you have the opportunity to shape others. And you are, you are a principal at at an elementary school. Tell us about the opportunity you have to shape the lives of young people. Yes. Um, well, this is the first year that I've done. The, it's an assistant principal job. And so I was I've taught music for a long time. So that's my background. And then I, I went into a regular classroom and now I'm actually in the front office helping to support teachers um, as my day job, as, as we, you discussed. And I, I have found that I feel that God has molded me for this time, actually, during the covid when we're trying to navigate digital and and concurrent learning and in-person learning and trying to, to get through that as a school system here in Gwinnett County where I work. 
And um, I just feel like that this is a piece of my story. You know, music is a piece of my story. The, <clears throat> me being a husband and a dad is a piece of my story. And all of that works together. And that's how God is making the most of me. Well, in a couple of seconds that we have left in our interview before we watch mm -hmm. your video, what is it that you want people to walk away from when they hear this song? God's not done. He is in the middle of something and he wants to bring it to completion to mold us, to mold our character into whatever it is that he has in store for us. And he can see things farther out than we can. A lot of times he doesn't give us the whole picture at one time, because I believe if we have too much direction at one time, we may begin to lean on the direction rather than the one who gave the direction. And so the more that we lean on the one who gives the direction, the better we can feel like we're moving in the right, the right way. Well, I'm really excited that you're a part of this project called Shout. And we've Me been too. playing your music um, a lot, really, since the inception of Babby Mason Radio. What's it like to know that your music is going all around the world? It's humbling. And it's one of those things where I kind of wondered if these type moments would ever happen for the music ministry that I have. And so I'm thankful you've given the, the song some extra legs in this manner. So thank you. Absolutely. It's a privilege to partner with you. Well, listen, we're going to uh, yeah. take a look at the video, but I want to tell our viewers that if you want more information about Shout, this compilation project that Josh Farr is a, prod, mm -hmm. a, pro, a part of, I'm a part of it, along with uh, 10 other artists who are part of the Shout project, go to my website at babby.com, and there you'll see the logo, and that'll give you all the information as to how you can find the project and enjoy this beautiful music. And check out Josh Farr's music at babbymasonradio.com. Well, why don't we take a, gr a look at this great music a video that Josh has created. It features his beautiful song called Most of Me. And after we watch this, be this beautiful video, we'll take a quick break and we'll be back with more of Babby's House. But let's take a great look at this video called Most of Me featuring Josh Farr's music.
Well, thanks for coming back to Babby's house. It was a real joy to talk with Josh Farr and to have him on the show. He's been a longtime friend, and I'm really happy that he is involved in Babby Mason Radio and Babby's house and the projects that we're doing, but mainly the compilation project called Shout. As I explained earlier in the show, Shout is a compilation project that features uh, independent artists who are all a part of BabbyMasonRadio.com. And this beautiful project features an eclectic uh, balance of all kinds of Christian and gospel music. And you can get information about the Shout Project at my website at Babby.com. And now I want to introduce you to another artist who is a part of the Shout Project. He is a producer. He's a very, he's a songwriter and a real creative person who, you know, took a leap of faith, left his day job, launched a, a production company. He works with singers, writers. He produces music. And his name is Raleigh Hall. And I'm happy to welcome Raleigh to the show. We co-wrote a song that is also featured on the Shout Project, the compilation project that Babby Mason Radio and I have produced. So let me welcome Raleigh Hall to Babby's house. My friend, it's good to see you today. Thank you kindly. It's a blessing to be here, Babby. A blessing to have you on the show. Thank you for joining me. You know, Raleigh, you uh, you and I met a few years ago. And what I love about you, Raleigh, is you're fearless. You know, you just you walk into a space. You, you're not a you're not timid. You're, you're not afraid to meet new friends. You're not afraid to forge new territory. And I'm just happy to know that, you know, you have that kind of uh, courage to forge new you know, new endeavors. And that's basically how we met. But I want to talk about the song and then we can talk about our relationship and some of the things that you're doing. But let's talk about your involvement in the Shout Project. As I was telling our viewers that uh, that you are involved in this compilation project and you have a song that you inspired called Love God, Love People. And that song is featured on the project. Tell us the inspiration behind the song. You, <laughs> you You're real are kind, such, my friend, real kind. <laughs> you are such the inspiration, baby. I, I can't um, sugarcoat it or anything like that. Just cut and dry, you are the inspiration. Having, um, as you know, picked up the plaque that speaks love God, love people, and you being led by your, your hands and your heart, having made the chorus what it is, I had no choice but to respond to what it was doing inside of me and write the verse and the bridge and, and the outro. It, it's, it's God. Well, it's God. let me just tell, tell our viewers, kind of let them in on a little bit more of that inspiration. Uh, sure. I host a weekend music conference called The Inner Circle. And Raleigh came to the inner circle and we always talk about songwriting because that's what I do. I teach and train and coach songwriters to write better songs. And so I was telling them that, you know, the inspiration to songwriting is everywhere. It could be in a book that you're reading or in a scripture verse or in a message that your pastor is preaching. It could even be while you're shopping, you could see something hanging on a wall that might inspire you to write a song. Well, we, then we broke for dinner, and when we came back for dinner at the evening session of our conference, Raleigh Hall came into the room with this plaque. And let me show you this plaque. Let me see if I can frame it up so that you can see it. Can you see that right there? It says, love God, Perfect. love people, the end. 
Well, he brought that plaque to me and gave it to me as a gift. And I was telling my uh, all the attendees that, you know, you could strike a chorus from something like this uh, plaque. And right there on the spot, the Lord gave me this little melody. Yes. Love God, love people, everybody, amen. And, and Raleigh, you know, took the ball and, and ran with it. And I think he stayed up half the night writing, <laughs> writing verses and, and producing a chorus. And he came back the next day with what is now a beautiful song called Love God, Love People, inspired by that plaque. And... Um, Raleigh, I want you to tell us a little bit more about the process uh, because you got a beautiful uh, young lady to sing the lead. And I've, I've never heard you sing, but you probably do sing. But you you found uh, one of your friends to sing this beautiful song that we ended up writing together. And man, it is truly inspirational. Tell me about the singer and, um, you know, and what it was like to to see this song come to life. Uh, the name of the vocalist is Samantha Howard. Samantha Howard is an extraordinary vocalist and she sings with conviction. And I believe that's why, you know, God chose her to actually lead this anthem for his kingdom and uh, for a world that we don't know of. And the thing is, is that when you hear God and he calls you, you're not certain how he's going to respond, but as long as you're obedient, you not you do not know what is to come. So I, I was just obedient. I was obedient when I first heard you write the chorus. I was obedient when I went back to my hotel room and worked and worked and worked. Um, and uh, believe you or not, the song has been uh, two years in the making, two to three years in the making. So to all songwriters and artists, you know, don't be discouraged. You know, sometimes we don't know the vision in full and you have to take what part of, of the vision that God has given you and just be obedient to it. And he'll place you where the song shall, shall finally land or what it does inside of you. Cause truly, this has groomed me to be a better songwriter, a better producer um, on, on many scales. Yeah. You know, Raleigh, you got to take a step of faith. Yeah. And you've got to follow the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. You know, I believe yes. that all inspiration comes from the Holy Spirit. The yes. Holy Spirit is the author of creativity. Yes. He is the author of all things beautiful. He was the one that inspired that beautiful melody. Matter of fact, he was the one that directed you into the drugstore where I think what? you went to get some cough drops or something. <laughs> and you saw this plaque <clears throat> hanging on the wall and well, brought it back to the conference. And that's the thing that started the whole, you know, the whole ball to spinning on this beautiful true. song. So, um, and Samantha Howard, delivers oh my goodness she delivers this song i want to talk a little bit more about that step of faith you know raleigh because you are you have launched a, a hallmarks music you, you've launched a whole production company where you work with artists uh you you create beautiful music you produce projects tell me about um what inspired you to take this leap of faith and some of the things that you're doing with your production company uh, well, right now, uh, I'll just start by saying, uh, working with people like yourself, like Jules Bartholomew, who's also a part co-writer in this particular piece, um, it inspires me to unite a, a group of people to a collective purpose. And that's simply to love God. How can we love God and not love our fellow man. And so with that inspiration, I've developed this corporation that um, is known as the Marksman. It's our Marksman publishing company, uh, which is working for Hallmarks Music Group. And it's a team of writers that have been either seasoned or novice writers, giving them um, an opportunity to write for different artists across the country and then to work with people like-minded with a heart to 
show deliverance and healing throughout this land in the music industry. This particular song was uh, captivated by my inner memory of an old commercial by Coca-Cola. And if you remember, yes. Coca-Cola had this thing, um, I like to hear the world to sing. And, and they were all holding call. hands out on this big hill. Yes. It was like all these people from around the world. And it was beautiful. I remember it vividly. Yes. And so this is what was the main um, inspiration for this song. You know, that's what God wants. And we want to put images in people's minds and hearts so that they follow that image and that the destructions of this world and the, you know, things like sin and bad habits don't consume us, but help us grow. And that's the intent of this song. Well, I love the message and I love the inspiration behind the message. And we really do need a song like this. Love God, love yes. people. We need this message in the world right now. Um, and of course you can hear uh, the song on Babby Mason Radio, yes. uh, inter interviews with all the shout artists, including Raleigh Hall, hear this beautiful song. And uh, you can go to my website at babby.com and click on the artwork that says shout. And you can get all the information as to how to get more information about the project, information about the artists, see their videos, and learn more about this great project and hear all this wonderful, wonderful music. Well, Raleigh, let me ask you this, my friend. Uh, you know, we're living in a day and age where um, there's so much going on in the world. And it, I meet a lot of people who uh, are extremely discouraged. You know, that we're, I don't know about you, but I am growing very, very weary of COVID. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to move on and, and get back to life as, you know, as we, as we knew it uh, before uh, COVID-19 upset our world. And can you encourage people right now, you know, to just hold on to, not to hang in there, um, but to stand in there Amen. and, and, you know, just wait for God to move this thing out the way, to, to lean on God, to trust God for the days ahead. Can you encourage people to do that? I sure can. And I'll start with the word from Isaiah 9, verse 7. It says, the zeal of the Lord will accomplish this. Now, this is the best of life. Right now, we're in a season of refreshment. We're in a season of new beginnings. And there is nothing greater than God's interruption to bring us to a new place of growth. And so I want everybody to be encouraged. Thanksgiving is coming up. It's time to give thanks, y'all. Start making those connections with your family and embracing the old times for the better times to come. Christmas is coming. And uh, I'm ex I love Christmas. I listen to Christmas songs all year round. I want everybody to be encouraged to grab on to what is good. Grab on to what brings you great memories so that God can fulfill the best of your dreams. Well, Raleigh, thank you, my friend, for being a part of this project. Again, the name of the song is called Love God, Love People. It's written by Jules Bartholomew, Babby Mason, and my friend here, Raleigh Hall. You can go to my website and get all the information as to how to get the project. But Raleigh, thank you so very much for being a part of this um, to uh, this project called Shout and for being my guest today. Thanks well, for joining it's, me. It's been a privilege and I thank you so much for having me. They too can find the song on my website and hit me up at Hallmarks Music Group or Hallmarks Music Inc or just hit me on Facebook at Raleigh Hall. Appreciate that. Thanks for being with me. Well, my You're dear welcome. friend, thanks for watching Babby's House today. And you know, it's always our joy to encourage you in your faith, to challenge you to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledge the Lord and he will direct your path. If you mm -hmm. noticed a moment ago, I told you not to hang in there, but to stand in there. My mother, those were some of my, that was a, a favorite admonishment from my mother who is in heaven with the Lord now. She says, you know, the Bible doesn't say anything about hanging in there, but the Bible tells us having done all to stand, stand therefore and put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to withstand the fiery darts of the wicked one. So don't hang. This is not a day to hang. This is a day 
to stand on the Lord and his word. Well, thank you again for joining me here on Babby's house. And I, my, my heart goes out to you. I'm praying for you. You pray for me, all right? Let me leave you with this word. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you next time here on Babby's House. Mm -hmm.